What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go on the flip side of my video from the other day. We covered the best WWE Elite figures from 2010 all the way through 2019. We took a specific look at each year from 2010, 2010 all the way to 2019. Year by year, we went by and went by and I don't know why you say and went by like four times, Brad. We went into each year we picked out the best figure from that year from the main elite line. We're going to do the same thing here today, but we are going to cover the flip side of it. We're going with the worst figure from every year from 2010 through 2019. And again, we're going to do just like the best video. We are going to limit it to the main elite line. That way we don't get into all the crazy, you know, exclusives and random one-offs and collector's editions and NXT and exclusives and all that bull crap. We're going to keep it right here in the main elite line here today. And uh, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So starting off in 2010, guys, it was a pretty successful year. We do have some other notables here, but we do have the worst figure of the year, in my complete opinion, was the Elite 5 Mark Henry. Now, the Elite 5 Mark Henry, if anybody has ever owned an elite Mark Henry figure, you will know that those figures do not articulate well. I feel like they don't capture the size of Mark, Hen Hen Mark Henry too well. I feel like he's very small compared to what he actually is in real life. And I know, I guess they are pretty accurate as far as height's concerned. It just doesn't seem like it. Like, you know, they make him feel like he's really big and it just doesn't come across that way in the figure. And his articulation is just garbage. I cannot stand the Mark Henry elites. They're like the legs are all stiff. They don't stay in place. They really like shift back and forth fourth and it's just, they're just not very good they're very hard to pose around and that is why I put Elite 5 Mark Henry some runner-ups do include the Elite 1 Rey Mysterio the Elite 5 Rey Mysterio and the Elite 1 Edge those Rey Mysterio figures are on there for the same reason Mark Henry is it is because the legs on those Rey Mysterio figures just don't move bro I don't, I don't know what the hell it is I don't know what that shit is man it's like early on Elite figures just will not move their legs. Like, you move them forward and they go right back in position. It was, like, really terrible with the pine cone joints. That's why I really appreciate figures with ball joints. They're way better for articulation. But that is 2010. Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we these figures up? Coming into 2011, guys, it was actually a pretty good year of figures. There are no runner-ups for this uh, this for this year, 2011. We only have one figure that I could think of, and I really had to nitpick for 2011. I went with the Elite 9 Miz, and the only reason I went with Elite 9 Miz, I think it comes with a rubber jacket, and on top of that... I used to own Elite 9 Miz, and then I turned it into my Marty Skrull Elite, and this figure's legs were all warped, and it is the reason that I had to switch out the kick pad legs for some different legs for my Marty Skrull. The lower legs were just terrible. They were like inverted. He looked bow-legged, and uh, the feet got super loose. I don't know if it was just my figure, but the legs were all bow-legged. It wasn't very good. I know you can fix it with hot water and stuff, but it just wasn't a good figure. I wasn't a fan of it, and the legs have that same problem that, uh, with the pine cone joints. They're really stiff and they keep jumping back in position when you try to keep them in position so I went with Elite 9 Miz and again there are no runner ups for 2011 so we are moving on to 2012 These figures suck so for 2012, guys, we are actually going back to Mark Henry, and we are going to the Elite 15 Mark Henry. Now, this is literally on here for the exact same reason that the Elite 5 Mark Henry was on here, because of the articulation. It's just, I don't know, man. Like, it, Does anybody out there own an Elite Mark Henry? I love Mark Henry. I think he's fantastic. I would love to put him in the pick fed, but we don't have a good figure of him. The guy just cannot pose around. It's just the way they made his figures, and his ankle joints get really loose as well. It's, it's just unfortunate, but... But Elite 15 Mark Henry is the worst figure of 2012 from the main Elite line. And then I went with a runner-up. I went with Elite 15 Yokozuna. I really don't know why. I just I, I used to own the Hall of Fame Yokozuna like two or three different times. And I always sell a figure. Why do I sell a figure? I don't know why I sell the figure, but it's not in my collection, and I've owned it before, so why the hell I get rid of it? I must have not liked it that much, so I went ahead and put it in the runner-up position for 2012, but Mark Henry making his second appearance here on the worst figures of the year from 2010 to 2019 here in 2012 again. La 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 la, these figures suck. 
Going into 2013, guys, we had pretty good figures coming in nowadays. You know, we had some good elites coming here and there. But the worst figure for me this year, I went with Elite 19 Elizabeth. Now, I know a lot of people will say they like this figure, and that's grand. That's fantastic. But uh, I think, like, the high heel feet gave a lot of people trouble. And I don't know. I just I, I, I wasn't a big fan of this figure. I, I don't know, man. It's just the worst one. I mean, I tried to narrow it down the best I could. Some notables in this year were Elite 23 Undertaker. The articulation on Elite 23 Undertaker's legs weren't very good. We saw it in the Lost Legends series as well later on down the line and it had a super loose waist. Not sure if Elite 23 Taker had that same fault, but it also had a rubber jacket. You couldn't really articulate it. And then I put the Elite 20 Santino on here just because he had those uh, you know, the John Cena shoe feet that were very loose and you know, they're hard to stand the figure up. So I went ahead and added Santino to the list for 2013. I can't think of any more beats but these figures still for 2014, guys, it was pretty easy and simple to do. I went with the Elite 29 Eric Rowan figure. If anybody's ever owned an Eric Rowan figure, you know they're god-awful. They are not very good at all. They're not fun to pose around. They're actually impossible to pose around. You can't do even basic things with it because the legs are so, like, big and bulky. Like, you can't even push his legs forward to kick people. His ab crunch is non-existent. He can't even put his hands together or even close to uh, do like a power bomb or a simple move because of how his uh, torso is sculpted. It cuts off his arms and they will even damage the paint. So I think the Eric Rowan figures are the worst figures that Mattel makes for posing around. They're very, very close as far as Elite goes, not including basics. Elite 29 Eric Rowan easily takes the cake for 2014, but you'll find something that's hilarious. You want to know the runners ups for 2014? Elite 26 and Elite 32 Mark Henry. I did not even realize we had four Elite Mark Henry's until I made this list, but uh, both of those Elite Mark Henry's are the runner-ups for 2014 for the worst Elite figure from that year, but Eric Rowan is worse than Mark Henry, if you can believe that. So, Eric Rowan was here for the 2014 worst Elite. Nah, 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 nah. These figures aren't good. Coming into 2015, guys, pretty strong year. I feel like I had to nitpick a little bit right here, but I went with the Elite 37 Stephanie McMahon. I just don't think anybody was really excited for an Elite Stephanie McMahon at this point. Really strong wave, though. Elite 37 was a great wave. We had Miz, Rollins, Cena. We had Brock Lesnar. We had Dean Malenko. It was a really strong set, but Elite 37 Stephanie McMahon was not a part of that. Also included in this year for the runners-ups, I went for the Elite Los Matadors, and I went with the Elite 39 Psycho Sid. Now, both of those are all three of those figures. I don't know. They're just kind of weak releases, I guess. Uh, again, I felt like I was kind of nitpicking with those. They're not that bad of figures. You do get the rubber jackets for the Matadors there, but uh, Elite 37 Stephanie was the worst figure of 2015. For 2016, guys, we had Elite 47 Boss Man. Now, this one was kind of hard to narrow down as well. I went with Elite 47 Boss Man. Uh, just not very good articulation. I like Boss Man a lot, and I actually like, you know, everything about Boss Man around this time. I just didn't think his figure really went well with how he was in real life, if that makes sense. I, I'm not sure how to explain it. I just am not a big fan of the shield legs that we get with different guys. Like, the shield figures really get on my nerves with posing them around and stuff, so that's probably why I didn't really like this figure or care for it. It's also not the best head sculpt, I believe. I think the eyes are too big for him or something like that, but the runner, the runner-ups for 2016 2016 was an epic year for figures. Uh, the the best figures of the year for 2016 were, were like there was a long list of them. So uh, this was a very strong year for Mattel. But the runner ups are Elite 44 Tugboat and Elite 40 IRS. Both of those figures not very fun to pose around. I feel like IRS could be left off actually. Now that I think about it, his legs are pretty good articulated. But Elite 44 Tugboat's on there as well. It just seems like the bigger guys are really hard to pose around, man. I don't know. Going into 2017, guys, we have another Rowan figure, and it is the Elite 48. Why the fuck am I saying Elite so weird? It's the Elite 48 Eric Rowan figure. Very terrible figure. Just very god-awful. Not good. 
Um, it's basically a re-release of the Elite 29. Obviously, it's an updated Eric Rowan, but still not good. They didn't improve the articulation at all, and he used to look like this on Vindication. However, I had to take his head, and or no, I got a Bludgeon Brother head sculpt now, but what I did was I had to modify him. He's only been used for posing once in this attire, and immediately after posing him around on an episode of Vindication, I said, this shit's got to get out of here, Brad. I got, I got to do something. So I customized it into a Wyatt, you know, Wyatt family onesie or jumpsuit that we got with the Elite 32, Daniel Bryan, put him in that, made a custom body for him, and he moves so much better in that attire rather than the Elite 48 rule, and that figure is just terrible. But runner-ups include Elite 50, Stephanie McMahon, Elite 55, James Ellsworth, and Elite 47, B. Kane. Uh, Stephanie McMahon, same thing as the Elite 37, just kind of weak. The Elite 55, Ellsworth, I just felt was weird and odd, even though if it would have been proportional. It just was a weird release. The ab crunch sucked. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of the figure. And then Elite 47B Kane was just boring and just blood. The head sculpts kind of sucked, I think. And then the, the Kane mask was really awful. I don't know. But we're moving on to 2018. This figure sucks. In 2018, guys, we had a really strong year. I have two figures from Elite 58 here for the worst figures, and I, I really had to like nitpick for this list, and this figure is not even that bad, but it is, uh, the worst figure I chose was Elite 58 Mickey James, and then the runner-ups are Elite 58 Braun Strowman. Now, I think I put Braun Strowman on there because of the re-release quality. I think he he was a re-release pretty much, and then Elite 58 Mickey James, it was just kind of like, you know, I, I don't know. Again, I had to nitpick. She's single-jointed knees, and she's a women's figure, so she doesn't have the greatest articulation compared to the men's figures at that time. So I did go with Elite 58 Mickey James, and that was pretty much it for 2018. <laughs> This figure sucks. We still have one more shitty figure to get through. This video's almost over. This figure's making me sad. These figures aren't worth a day. Why were these made? These are the worst figures of the day. I'm glad I'm not as bad as these figures. This figure's not good. These figures aren't good. They're not very good. This is the last one. These figures suck. Every figure in this video has been bad. And finishing it up with 2019, guys, I went with the Elite 72 Velveteen Dream. Now, everybody knows if you watch my worst figures of the year for 2019, we obviously covered this figure as the worst figure. And, uh, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I go over it in that video if you guys want to go check that out. I just could not stand the look of this figure. It's a re-released head sculpt. We had never seen this attire before when they first showed it to us. Just not very well received. I I'm just not a big fan of this figure. I think if it had a different torso, it would have have been much better received, but out of all the great attires that we got of Velveteen Dream or that he's worn, this was definitely not, you know, on that list. So, Elite 72 Velveteen Dream takes the cake for 2019. And then the runner-ups include Elite 65 Ronda Rousey, Elite 68 Brie Bella, and Elite 71 Nikki Bella, which we also covered in my top 10 worst figures, uh, or worst Elite figures of 2019. But that pretty much does it for the worst Elite figure from every year from the main Elite line of the WWE Elite Series from Mattel from 2010 all the way through 2019. I figured since we made a best list, we might as well go ahead and make a worst list and just see how, you know, you guys enjoy it. I think a lot of you did enjoy the best figure, so I, I think one of the top comments actually was do a worst video, so I figured, you know what, F it, let's go ahead and do it. So here that shit is, and uh, it is it is all worth it, man. It was a really fun list to make. I love doing the list. I really enjoy making these videos, the list type videos, where I just get on here and shoot the shit and uh, go, go over the worst figures and kind of just give you my explanations why, but I think that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy uh if you guys missed the best figure from every you know year definitely go check that out that was a lot of fun to make as well but i'm gonna get the hell out of here and continue filming hell's gate because i want to get it up and i just, i know you guys are gonna crucify me but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe and wwe action figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you